Hello, it's Sarah. So, I'm still playing with my clay. Um, oh my God, the children. All right, so what I've done so far is I've just, and I have a feeling, this is like three different blues that I mix together. Um, I put it through the pasta machine at a number five. And I have a feeling this is Sculpey, a lot of Sculpey clay, which I just posted the video 411 on polymer clay. For those of you who are interested in just kind of getting an overview of um, the different types I use and how you uh, bake them. So, anywho, this is a bit soft is what I'm finding, but I'm making an ATC. I decided I'm going to make a third one of these. This is the... Um, the pattern, the style I'm going with, I'm going to use this as my inspiration. It's a, it's actually a tile that I created um, last year sometime, but it's bigger than an ATC. So I'm going to make it officially an ATC size, and I just use this little piece of card as my template. But the first thing I want to do is put some texture. I didn't put texture on the first one at all. I used the cobblestone um, texture sheet on that one, and then this is just, I don't know where I got this. This is stuff that... Um, I used to pick up uh, in the very beginning when I first started paper crafting. I used to pick up anything and try and use it as stamps and stuff. But I am just simply rolling, putting some pressure on this. And hopefully it will give me a little texture. I like it. So that's going to be the background for this um, because I'm making a, a flower. It's not going to have, I mean, I'm, I think I, I still might put the swirlies. I love the swirlies. They add so much like texture and dimension to the piece. So I'm going to take my template and just lay it across. And I kind of just use that to cut the ATC down to size. Hopefully my hands aren't in the way. Um, because, I mean, when you squish it, I've actually... Uh, Whoopsie, I'm moving my big tile. So if you don't see this, I mean, I could cut the camera and come back, but it's just nice to, to see it in real time. I like to see it in real time. Some of you may not. And those of you who are more experienced with clay, you know, you don't need to see it all. But some people, the beginners, they want to see it all because, um, and I know I'm totally over here out of the shot, guys. I will be right back. I am simply cutting around this template to get this to be a two and a half by three and a half piece of clay. And then I'm actually going to put it on another piece of tile. This little, I guess it's four by four. Um, let me see if I can peel this up. I should use a, a blade to kind of go under. I think I got it. Okay. I'm going to put it on this little piece of clay because then... I can move it around easily. And it got a little distorted. It's not <coughs> perfectly square, actually. It looks a bit wonky, as I like to call it. Yeah, like up here, I'm gonna just take a smidge off right here. Square it up a bit, all right? So what I'm gonna do first is pick a color, and what I decided to do for this one is I'm going to do gold petals and green leaves. I don't know why, but this gold clay, it takes the pigma, um, pigma, the mica powders really well. And it is, um, I know this is a primo clay, so it's definitely a little bit stiffer. And all I'm doing is kind of flattening it with my fingers right now. And then I'm going to roll it through the pasta machine. My battery's blinking, so we'll see what happens. I have this uh, set at a number five, and it comes out kind of not quite an eighth of an inch wide. And it looks like there's a couple air bubbles in that. Um, but I am going to create my petals with this clay by simply using a uh, cookie cutter. And these are actually, I, I don't know the brand now because I keep them in this little tin. Um, but these are in the clay department, and they're just little petal shapes. I have the uh, geometric shapes too, square, diamond. You can see them all, star, heart. But I did get some petals as well. Um, so I use those. This is the leaf. I love this leaf shape. It's so pretty. 
And today I'm going to use this one, the one that has like a double point on it. I used the other petal um, piece yesterday for my flower. So I am just going to simply, oh good, I like when it sticks to the tile and not to the um, cutter. So how many is that? Let's see. One, two, three, four. I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, good. So then you just take that. And I'm going to use this, the rest of the gold clay to make my accents, so to make swirlies and little doodahs. I don't have real names for anything, so I call them swirlies and doodahs for, for right now. So let's go back to, I'm going to try and do this here so you can see everything I'm doing. I'm debating if I want to change my battery because it is blinking. I'm going to also be using one of these gems which I love and I don't remember where I got these but when I did mosaics I used to pick up and I, I might have ordered these online but they're flattish they're not flat backs they're definitely rounded um, on the back and front but they're flat so um, I thought these would look pretty for a center for a flower center I think I'm gonna use this one specifically because it's got the most green um, but I used the Millifloor yesterday that is like a millifleur flat back and then I used a bling. You just got to make sure they're glass or you're going to have an issue. Sometimes you don't have issues if it's not glass or if, if you use plastic. But it's safer to try to try and use metal or um, glass as your um, accent pieces. Like when I've embedded um, charms in the clay, it works fine. The metal doesn't burn, it doesn't melt. So, uh, and you know, trial and error helps you understand. I mean, because I've used um, seed beads, got to make sure they're glass or they're just going to melt. So how many is that? This is six. I want to use seven, so I'm going to have to space them a little closer together. So, um, three, four, five, huh, I am not getting a good... Got to go a little wider. So, um, look, I still can't get that. I got to pull back a little and tip it. And I would consider this part of design. And I was so impressed with myself because I did come up with this on my own. I mean, huh, it's very hard to use a cookie cutter. That's, you know, so creative. But <laughs> I, you know, I am a copycat. And I'll admit it every day. I am so inspired by other people's work and ideas. And it helps me too. I feel more relaxed when... I know where I'm going with something. That's why mixed media is a little bit challenging for me. There are certain things that are a lot more challenging because I don't have that creative, um, let's see, I kind of like that. I think I did it. I think I arranged them in such a way that I'll be able to, um, I'm going to push that down. Basically, you just want to make sure, I know that there's liquid Sculpey, People, I have used glue myself as well, but this generally I don't have an issue. It adheres pretty well. Like I think this swirly that's on this gem, I probably did use glue because these have come off. I mean, if you think about it, there's nothing for it really to adhere to. It's glasses, I mean, it's a bit of a porous. I don't know. Um, and I did sculpt these petals with um, one of my... Um, tools so I think I might try that again I like it I'm gonna do the leaves like this and then we'll just see where it goes we'll see if I continue to copy that or if I take it in its own direction but that looks pretty and I'm liking the gold clay a lot because uh, I'm gonna also stamp I have to I forgot to do that but I want to stamp explore so I'm gonna go away and come back and I'll have um, some more pieces ready to go okay so I've cut a couple of leaves I've cut I've stamped this explore stamp which is an Inca Dinka do set that I got which I love has different words um, punch push that into the clay cut it out and I'm figuring out now where I want to place these um, 
I kind of want to go with this design here that I did with the stem, but the way, well, I like, I like to place the stem um, between the petals. So it's kind of at a certain angle here that I'm not really thinking I'll be able to put the leaves the way they are on there. So let's see what I can do. Um, and I have to kind of stop myself now from rolling this snake out too thin because I'm so used to doing the applique um, really tiny. So let's see. I'm going to put... If I go there, yeah, I think I'll be able to fit two leaves that way. Yes, I can. That's awesome. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to fit the two leaves, and I would like to have two. So I think I am. I think I'm going to put it right between these two petals, kind of stick it down there. Oop. See how I like to turn the piece? It's just much easier when you have that ability. And um, you know what, I'm going to use a little, just my um, ball tool, give it a push, kind of get it in that, and you know what, do I want it to kind of come off? This is all part of design, you know, like, this is why I'm a copycat, to be honest with you, I don't like thinking about this stuff because I can't make decisions. Like, even when I'm shopping or whatever it is, I, I just take too long to make decisions. I don't have that set um, likes and dislikes. I am very easy, like, I kind of like, it doesn't really matter that much to me. I don't have that strong of a like or a dislike for things sometimes. So, to, to, to make the decision on something like that doesn't even matter really you know I mean it really doesn't where you place the leaf it's not that critical you know I'm actually gonna change that and get it I'm gonna have to cut the tip off but I just like the placement some things see I, I mean I don't know I think it doesn't but then some things do matter to me so um when I follow a pattern, I just feel more comfortable. I just like it. It's more relaxing, honestly. So that's kind of part of it, too. So now I've got my little stem, my leaves. So pretty much that's the ATC right there. And I'm loving the way that gold. I just love the The metallic clays are fantastic. So now I'm just going to do kind of what I've done over here. I like this swirly on here, but this is a decorative bead as it is. I could just put, I think I might put little dots around the center or something. We'll see. But I am going to roll out um, this clay kind of thin now and try to decorate the border. These two I did a dot border. You see those dots? But I used the swirlies as part of the design. So I'm thinking I can just um, wing this one. It's not, it's not a true set. You know, I mean, it is a set, but it's not... Don't have to be exactly the same. I don't know. I mean, I didn't design the criteria for a set, really. Who knows? All right. And as I showed, did I show this? Yes, I did show this in the bottle tutorial. But when I do a little, I call them swirlies. I don't know what else to call them. It's a swirled piece of clay. I basically just swirl the wrap the clay around itself. So. I like to get it really rolled out thin and then look this is swirlies in the background so it's going to be weird um no I didn't want to do it in gold damn I rolled that out so nice <laughs> um I mean I didn't want to do it in green I want to do it in gold maybe that'll be too much though but I you know what's good is I can use the mica powders to change the color it kind of looks good the way it is so here's what else you would do why don't I do this while we're at it? I have these. This is actually a, um, a Sculpey tool, I believe. But let's see. I'm going to do my leaves. I like to do a little work, like a little detail work on the leaf to give it a little bit of realistic texture, right? 
and you just kind of draw like you would with a pen just pulling this little tool into the clay so that looks good gives it texture and I did that on the um, petals but this time there's this tool that this is these are my Christy Friesen tools these are a set that I ordered from her website um, they're stainless steel and she's a sculptor so I really felt like I needed these when I ordered them to get the effects that she gets from sculpting this is one of them this is my favorite my go-to uh, blade I love this one it's really easy when you're cutting um, so was it this just these three but they're stainless steel um, this one you know I mean they have different shapes then there's this one with a flat edge um, and then there's this one which is very similar but it's smaller um, ends and things right so I think I probably could easily go rock it back and forth aha I like that so I'm just gonna place this here rock it back and forth and make a little indentation in that leaf or a petal I should say and then when you add the mica powders you have this um, lower area that the, the powder won't go in there it shouldn't it does I mean it can and just widening it a little bit I have not experimented with sculpting as much as I could um, so I may have to be trying all right this is looking good though that really looks cool it really looks cool I'm happy with that um, so basically this is it this is this is my ATC I'm gonna probably play around with some swirlies and stuff um, I did them on the um, the bottle tutorial but maybe I'll just show you see I'm not sure if I should have used that swirled background then because it seems like I've got too much of that going on it's um, maybe too much of a good thing I love them I think they add I, I said sweetness in my last video because I do I think they're just happy for some reason they make me happy but um, they add texture and movement that's really the adjectives I should use um, because like so all right say I just put this down here I let the clay do the work I kind of and then as I wrap it and I like where it's going I tap down and let the because it is a round piece of clay you have to um, and I think I'm just going to let it go off the piece right here because that's kind of the technique I was doing I think I got this from Chris Capano um, or Chris Capano is going to teach at the um, she's doing a class a sun catcher tile for polymer clay adventure and um, anywho I'm thinking this was one of her techniques so I'm gonna go away and I'll play around a little bit and I'll show you what I come up with all right be right back okay so I'm back um liking the swirlies I think that's uh, that's good that's what I was going for now this other piece has these little balls of clay for texture and I'm gonna do that too I have a feeling I did this with the pen the tip of a pen like a ballpoint pen I think that's what I used I don't remember okay so I'm just gonna add these definitely at the ends of um, some of them let's see uh, I want to see here let's see I think I just used my fingers to kind of push them down that's what I'm gonna do I like it because it um, lets the clay do the talking it's not um, 
I don't need to make a hole in it or add anything to it. I'm just going to put them like that. I like that. And it's a little different from the other pieces as well. Um, I guess. One right in the corner. <clears throat> Maybe two. So they're each of these three, um, the other two are a lot more similar. Where else, guys? What do you think? Just kind of... I think up here would be cool. One. Two. Oops, doesn't really touch. Is that enough? Hmm. I think I'll do a couple more on this one. And then once I've applied all those, I'll come back and I'll show you how I use mica powders to decorate. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I've, <coughs> excuse me, I've pulled a few of these um, Pearlex powders. Um, I thinking, I'm thinking I'm just going to stay with the green, gold, and blue. But I did pull purple because I just love it. It is such a pretty color. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. I think I'm going to just take, for now, um, hmm, you know what though? I like to just take a little on the tip of my finger, like this. Let's see what this looks like. It's not going to show up very well. Okay. I have to do, um, maybe I'll go with a yellow instead of a gold. I mean, it's definitely giving it some shimmer. It looks pretty. Maybe I will. Hold on. I put these little balls of clay up here, too, around the center. Kind of liking it now. The more I cover it, it's not getting into that centerpiece. That looks pretty cool. Um, I don't think that the word is going to pop like I want it to. Um, I mean, I can read it. It's definitely there. Now I'm just um, rubbing this over the clay with my finger. And it just makes it shimmer. So it just adds a nice... Oh, look, I touched the green on the edge. That's super pretty. I'm going to use the green for the um, leaf, but... I don't mind that I touched the gold to it. When I did my bottle, I used um, the blue and it got on the pink. And so it changed the color of the petal to purple. So that's something you kind of want to, you know, if you care. I mean, you really don't need to worry about it because it's so, it's pretty regardless. So I'm just going to take some of this green and run that over the leaf. And it doesn't go into the the veins that I um, put on there so it kind of it leaves the darkness of the vein I like that a lot that is pretty so and then I think I'm gonna just play with the purple and blue on the background and I just use a brush to do that um, I guess I'll start with blue and this is called true blue but it has a purpley tint to it where it's like a a periwinkle color almost. So I'm going to just take an, an old brush and get some on my and I'm just going to kind of run it around the background a little to add a little shimmer to the background. And that's it. I mean you can go crazy with these though and really add all different colors. Um, and it just, it adds so much. Obviously, when you saw my my colorful ATC, which, where is it? That This is all done with mica powders right here. All those colors. I just, it's on black clay, but then, I mean, I, I did use colored clay as well. But the background is all done with these mica powders. And they are really fun to play with. So, that's it, you guys. I will be sharing more clay videos as I learn more about clay. Um, 
I have mentioned previously that I have uh, signed up for an online retreat. It's called Polymer Clay Adventure and it's sponsored by Clay TV. Um, we've had two classes so far uh, and they weren't techniques that I'm totally looking forward to um, but you know definitely learning from watching the um, classes. Uh, I'm looking forward to Lori Micah, Chris Capano, and there's a woman that does clay cards, believe it or not, and I forget her name. There's some caning that I want to learn about because I don't, I haven't, I've done a little bit of caning, but um, people make such gorgeous, oh my God, canes, so <clears throat> I will definitely share as I learn more about clay. But I'm loving this. I think it turned out awesome. So I'm going to go bake it. You know what? Let me just rub a little bit of the blue actually on top of the Explore. It will look fine. But I think it'll make it pop a little more. It might muddy the color. What does yellow and blue equal? Mud? See, that's the thing. Sometimes you got to be careful. Um, I don't think it's terrible. It's not as vibrant. Um, all right, I'm going to bake it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I'll come back and show you the finished product. Be right back. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry about the coughing, guys. <clears throat> I'm still not better. Here it is. I like it. I put green gel pen. The Sakura Jelly Roll Pen Metallic. It's a green color. I put that in the Explorer and I like it. So it's kind of just golden green with a blue background and I like it. I think it's perfect for this set of three. <clears throat> What's the first one? The second one and the third. So they're all kind of different. And I've already started working on another one. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So I'm going to use pearl color um, clay. I'm going to do a bottle like this too. I've already started covering a bottle. So maybe I'll share those when they're done. I'm really having fun. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, not hard. Just get the clay out. All right. Thanks for watching.